In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to get started with Instagram ads for your e-commerce business and review a number of different ads that I have actually been shown to break down how to be more successful. Stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano, founder of Blue Water Marketing, founder of Savage Man Grooming, founder of more e-commerce stores soon to be released. And in this video, like I said, we're breaking down Instagram ads because as we all know, Instagram is changing to adapt to be more like TikTok. So how do businesses adapt to create ads that are more effective? That's what we're breaking down. Before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you guys hit the thumbs up button, the YouTube algorithm likes it, I like it, and I wanna keep creating content, so a quick thumbs up is all I ask for. So for the first step, we're gonna log into my business manager account to show you how to segment out creating ads on the business manager for only Instagram. So the first step in setting up your Instagram ads for your e-commerce store is obviously going right into the Facebook business manager. Now there are two different ways of doing Instagram ads. The first one is on the Instagram app, which we'll get into next. But the way I recommend doing it just on being a media buyer for the last 15, 14 years is to do it through Business Manager. And that's what we're getting into right now. Okay, so the first step is we wanna to go to a campaign objective. Obviously we want sales. We are an e-commerce brand. So new sales campaign, test and if you're looking for how to name your campaigns to be more effective in once you launch them understanding the data which ones work click this video right up here where we break down our naming convention which is very easy to understand which ads are performing best so we're just going to do a quick test campaign no big deal ad set level this is where things get more important so we're going to go savage man grooming we want to do purchase and then daily budget, $20, that's fine. Audience, all of this, none of this really matters in the essence of this video, except for when we get to placements. Placements are exactly how you're going to separate Instagram from everything else. Now, Facebook wants you to do automatic placements, which we've been testing, they work, no big deal. But for this video, we're doing Instagram. That's all we're doing, IG ads. So we wanna do manual placements. From here, we're going to uncheck all three other boxes except for Instagram. Now here's where things get interesting. So depending on how many creative assets you have, it's gonna be super important to understand where you're putting these ads. Are you doing Instagram stories, Instagram feed, Instagram shop, Instagram explore, or Instagram reels? So you can theoretically do an ad set for Instagram reels. That's how I would do it. I would do an ad set for Instagram stories, and I would essentially do the same audiences with those various placements. That gives you the control. Now, Facebook might not like that because it's restricting where it can show it, but if you have the correct creative assets, which we'll get into a little bit later, and if you wanna skip ahead, click on the chapters below, we can break down the different creative assets and review some that I've found. So we wanna do Instagram, Feed, we're actually going to disconnect that. We're going to get rid of explore and shop because essentially all we're going to do is some video ads right now. So we're getting rid of those because the cropping gets weird. So we would run two different ad sets. So we're doing Instagram stories and Instagram reels. And that's that. For the ads, what we're doing is we're creating ads that are specific to the placements so add video we're gonna do just the default in shots here we go original it's already in that 9 by 16 format and so that is how you set it up in the business manager now on the phone it's a different story now from the phone we're gonna go to add tools we are going to promote Choose media. We will pick our 25 second box opening. More website visits. Next. 
to find your audience. Now this is where Instagram gives you the option to pick your audience or allow them to pick it. I never let them do that, so we're gonna target United States. Country. Florida. This is telling me we're too broad, so we need to start to hone it in a little bit. Beard. Beard oil. Um, badass beard care. Still too broad, but we're going to segment out audiences now. So we're going to do male. Ages 24 to 45, and now we have 6.7 to 7.8 million people who are going to see this ad. And we are going to do... Next. Now, duration. So right now, based on this, all we're doing is website visit. So it's an understanding to gauge how many purchases will we get from that probably not many so we'll stick to a five dollar day budget we'll set the duration to the next seven days next boost post right so that is the boosted post and overall i don't find them to be very effective we have run them before as an easy test but if you go back historically basically facebook made boosted posts for small businesses who didn't know how to run Facebook ads. So that's why I always go to the campaign manager within the business manager account. So we've set it up, we've segmented out the placements, but the most important part of Instagram, separate from the audience that we're targeting, is the creative. And it might actually be the most important because I've got some videos here that I wanna review with you and I wanna show you their funnel and then we'll go into page transparency to see what other types of ads these companies are running. So the first one is a brand called Lift.Stories. It's an app that helps you to create Instagram stories. And if we look, we see 201 likes, which is pretty decent for an ad. And it walks you through exactly how to use this app to create Instagram stories and their USP or their call to action is 30 second Instagram stories. So walking through that, we have this one. It is user generated content. And at the same time, as you can see, it actually also shows you the templates. So it's both a user generated piece of content, building that brand trust. And secondly, it's actually showing you the product itself. Great job. Next one is Savvy Workshop HQ. But as we can see, this is a highly produced piece of content. This takes a lot of money to create. I know because we do some of these. And you'll see that there's only 10 likes. Now we don't know when this ad launched, so it might not be apples to apples, but it is highly produced. Secondly, once we click on the ad, as you can see, it is taking forever to load the landing page. So SavvyWorks.com, if you want, give us a call. We can optimize your site, subtle plug. Otherwise, I'm, if it wasn't for this video, I would have already closed out of this browser because this is taking way too long to load. I think at the end of the day, it actually took upwards of like 12 seconds for this entire page to load. So I'm gone. So we need to think about two things when we're running Instagram ads. What is the content that resonates with our audience and where are we driving them to? So that's Savvy Works. Honestly, for the amount of money they probably spent on the creative and their website, it's a no winner for me. They, they've lost in the competition of Chris's Instagram ad recommendations. If you guys are finding this video useful so far, give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Let's get into the next one. So next we have Magic Tap app and it is essentially looks like another app that will make your Instagram feed concise cohesive Lightroom prep presets to just make everything similar so on this one super interesting 114 likes 
So we're starting to see what is resonating with audiences. All right, so we just reviewed some Instagram Reels. Now we're going into story ads so that you can better understand how to create Instagram story ads to be successful for your business. So the first one that we're seeing is going to be a say goodbye to Hootsuite. Last social media management platform, cloud campaign, and you click on it and it's a simple call to action. There's not much there. So interestingly enough, we want to know, well, where are we supposed to go as the user to sign up? And they bring us to an automated form on Instagram. So this eliminates the need for a landing page and gives the information right there. Okay, now we have the Hoth, which is a huge e-commerce company, and they're doing PPC management that then gen guaranteed leads is their offer. Super important, and it goes to a landing page that is so long. As you can see, we're scrolling, it's giving you all the benefits, all the offers, the cost, everything you get with it on a landing page that loaded very fast, especially in comparison to that other brand. So what I'm trying to show you guys is in order to be effective with Instagram ads in 2022, it's vital that you have an understanding of what your offer is, who your target audience is, and the creative. Where are you placing these? What are you showing them? And then where are you driving to? So because it's really hard to not know what your business is, my recommendation is run an A-B test. So if you are a lead gen business, A-B test, a form fill on Facebook or on Instagram, and a landing page. If you're an e-commerce brand, test out collection pages and or product pages. Run both of them to these audiences within these specific placements. Remember, right now, user-generated content with your product being displayed is going to be the most effective. We can see based purely on engagement with these reels. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next week.